What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here, back with a quick tutorial on how to clean this espresso maker. So after you've been loving your DeLong Dedica espresso maker, I use it every single day, at least once a day, but eventually it's gonna need to be cleaned. I used it about six months until this happened, but you'll be brewing and right after the brew, the steam light will start flashing orange, just a steady pulsing on. That means the machine needs to go through a descale process. It's a really nice feature in a machine like this to have an automatic sensor in there. Somehow it's got a sensor and it lets you know when it needs to be descaled. De Instead of just a counter on some cheaper machines that will just tell you after you brew 500 times you need to descale the thing. And with a sensor it'll also let you know if you descale it improperly and that there's still some calcium buildup inside there. I'm going to be using the descaling solution that came in the box with the espresso maker when I got it. This comes free with it. It's a great feature to have. Once you open it up, there's just one little container in here. It's got 100 milliliters of descaling solution. Read all the warnings on there. I've already gone through and read them. It's pretty nasty stuff. You don't want to get it on yourself or it could damage if you have a weak countertop. It could possibly damage that or it could hurt your clothes. A lot of things, there's a lot of warnings on it. So just be really careful when you're handling this to use it properly and we'll make sure we clean up everything afterwards to make sure it's safe to use because you're going to be consuming the product that comes out of this normally so you want to make sure this is all gone when we're done. So first empty the water reservoir. Use scissors to open the top. Be very careful with this. Now pour the entire contents into the tank. With this container to dilute it properly you need to fill all the way to the max fill line with water. Now replace the tank on the back. Now it's all secure. Now you hold the orange flashing steam button for 10 seconds. And then they will start flashing two times in sequence. Single cup twice, double cup twice, steam twice. That means it's ready. Move a large container under the steam valve If you wait too long, it'll go back to normal operation. That's what it just did right there. To re-enter it, hold it for another 10 seconds. This is what they call a settings menu, where each one is flashing. Then press the steam, turn the steam valve and press the steam button. This will now enter descaling mode. So it'll go through and it'll pulse and stop and pulse and stop, doing various on and off. You may have to hold the container up to it. It started splashing and with it bursting down into once the container got some liquid in it, it started splashing out everywhere. Um, so you might have to hold it up. You might need to keep a towel nearby. It's getting on me. It's pretty strong stuff and you really don't want to ingest it. So I'm gonna have to clean the entire counter afterwards. Just something to be aware of. It does recommend that a couple times during it, you place a, a regular cup under the main boiler section and rotate this dial back to regular operation. It'll send some of it through the main output where the espresso comes out. And so to do that a couple times through the cycle, so once after it gets maybe a quarter of the way down and then maybe again at three quarters of the way down, do that. Wait, let a little bit drip out then you're fine. Go back to normal. Out the steam mode. And let it just go until it runs entirely out of water. Then you'll be done. After it runs through the entire tank, the machine will stop and the orange steam light will keep flashing. That means to empty the tank, re-wash it out with fresh clean water, and then refill it to that max fill line with fresh clean water. And now you run through the, then you run through the entire thing again. Right now the machine is full of the descaling solution and it's getting out all those buildups inside of there. And then we're gonna run it through with fresh water that'll get all that deposit out of there. One tip I did find while this was running was that if the, liquid, if the water in this bowl was lower than the nozzle shooting into it, it would create splashes. And so now there's the descaling solution is kind of all over the counter. It's really bad situation you don't wanna be in. Trick I found, I propped this up and I filled it up with water to submerge the nozzle. I'm definitely going to do it again on the other side 
when we're emptying it all out. That's just a little tip that I found and would highly recommend you start that way because I wish I'd started that way so my counter was not covered in descaling solution right now. Tip right there. Now that this is full of clean, fresh water, reattach it to the machine. Take this, place it back under. This is clean and empty as well. Place it back under the nozzle. But again, on this one, I am going to fill the bowl up with water to make sure that the nozzle is fully submerged into the liquid. That way it won't cause any splashing, any descaling solution to get all over the place. Not a situation you want to be in. Fill it up just till it's submerged. Make sure there's also still room on the top for it to expand because it is going to fill with this entire tank of liquid. And when you're ready, press the top button again. It will start the cycle. It's pulsing. Similar with the first half of the descaling process, you are going to rotate this a couple times during it to let the liquid start coming through the main nozzle into a container, into a container you place down here. That'll get both of the nozzles fully descaled, ready for you to work. And then turn it back on that one, just let it run. It's going a lot faster on this cycle than it did the first time through. The machine will go back to flashing the main two buttons after it's done. That means it's heating up and ready for you to use again. Then I'm gonna take the water tank one more time to just flush it out fill it back up. I'm going to wipe down all the surfaces to make sure there's no more of the descaling solution that may, might have splashed out or been around. Wipe everything down really well, make sure everything's rinsed off, and then you'll be ready to make your next cup of espresso. Also, I did want to cover in this video cleaning out the cups because this is a great time to clean out the cups while you're descaling it. And if it does follow the same pattern, it's about every six months for me. Take the handle, remove the cup. Inside here, there's a little rubber gasket with a handle, you pull that handle. Take this under hot water and a brush, brush out all those little holes. If any of the holes get stuck, you, it recommends to use a toothpick or a tiny needle to make sure the hole is fully open, that there's not a little ground of coffee stuck in there. This is a great time to do that while you're cleaning the whole system. But if you've cleaned it up, you're ready for espresso again. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. And while you're down there, like and subscribe if you like this video. Or let me know if there's any questions or clarifications you might need about this video or the whole process as a whole. As always, I hope you have a great day. Go Toaster out.